Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here back again with another video and today we're going to be reviewing episode 81 of Dragon Ball Super and so we're going to go ahead and get sh uh, right straight into it with the beginning of the episode basically going off with Son Goku and his, oppo uh, his opponent uh, Berg I'm going to butcher the name, I apologize but so I'm not even going to fucking say his stupid name <laughs> so him, Son Goku and his opponents, Bert Gamo, whatever, however you pronounce his stupid name, they, uh, they're there on the arena, they're getting ready to fight, and then Bert Gamo, sorry for butchering the name, I know, I apologize, but he goes off on onto a plea, I guess, basically saying that Goku is the bad guy, and that he's the one... And, he, and it's his fault for putting all the universes in a position that they're in to try to basically win so that way their whole universe, you know, stays alive. And so everyone looks at Goku right now as the bad guy and that everything is his fault. And so what he actually does is that he he asks he asks Zeno if uh, he wins, uh, he, he would. Uh, reconsider the fact of all the universes being destroyed and that's only if he beats Goku if Goku wins then that means everyone's gonna still have a potential potential chance of being erased from existence in the tournament of power or uh, what they actually do mention is that if Goku for some for whatever reason holds back because he doesn't want to get destroyed everyone will be immediately erased from existence right off the spot so it doesn't even matter so, uh, knowing Goku, you already know he's going to go at full power as it is anyways, because he, he enjoys fighting, and that's what he kept on talking about, and that's the reason why he has Zeno to hold this tournament in the first place, for people, for people who are watching this video who don't know. And so, they go ahead and start off the fight. Uh, Goku and uh, Ber uh, Bergamo, Ber Bergamo what, however you pronounce his stupid name, uh, they get uh, they start fighting. It's kind of like a little like test of strength kind of part of the match, and then it's very interesting because they're both they both seem on a on an equal ground, and uh, and not, not one person seems stronger than the other. And so Bergamo ex explains that there's a reason to his name why he's called Bergamo the Crusher, and so he allows Goku to do, just basically just he just allows him to hit him. And there's a reason why he allows him to hit him is because his ability out of the the trio de dangers, I believe their that their group name is from Universe Nine, the three fighters that were chosen to fight in uh, the Zen exhibition match. Uh, basically, what happens is that if the uh, the amount of times that he gets hit or the amount of power that has hit him, he basically uses that power. And it sends it sends it back uh, twofold, which is uh, the Supreme Kai of Universe Nine actually says, and he also becomes a little bit bigger. So the whole time, Goku is hitting him, and he's becoming much larger and much more powerful because he's also absorbing basically the power that Goku is dealing at him, but even twice as powerful. But the whole time, Goku is of course getting really excited, not because someone uh, there's someone who basically rivals his power but it's because he already basically knows how to win and so because he's getting so much more bigger than normal than, than he actually is uh he has a whole bunch of uh weak points which he which goku actually mentions in the episode and so he start he starts hitting him in his weak points uh it doesn't seem like it's it's gonna be much uh much of a chance for uh bergamo to win or bergamo whatever um, and so Goku goes ahead and starts going at full power. So he goes uh, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, however you want to pronounce the, the name of that transformation. And on top of that, he also adds in the Kaioken. And the subtitles is actually uh, it actually read King Kai Fist, which I actually thought was kind of funny. But um, that's whatever. So he uses he uses the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. That's what he that's what he uses, and he basically shoots off a full power Kamehameha. And because of that, and uh, because of uh, the reason why Goku went full power, his power is much more greater than his opponent, and then Goku ends up winning the match. And so, after he wins, uh, uh, Bergamo is explaining, or he's like all pissed off saying, like, it's your fault that we're going to get destroyed. Uh, and he swears that in the, in the beginning of the, the first match, uh, 
um, that universe of them will be the first uh, universe to be erased because everyone uh, everyone pretty much hates universe 7 and Son Goku at the moment so they they all plan on basically going after him and universe 11 there was a, a cloaked figure who we didn't know at the time but at the end of the episode it was actually uh, revealed who it is and it, his name I believe is Topo um, um, let me know in the comments if I'm uh, butchering that name as well because I don't claim to have very good pronunciation pronunciation of names and I apologize for that but he reveals himself He's from Universe 11, and he's basically asking Goku to fight him because in Universe 11, his uh, group, his group or, or whatever I guess, is out there to basically fight evil and your universe. So think of it like uh, Jocko and the Galact Galactic Patrolman, but it's not Jocko. So, um, <laughs> so think of it like Jocko, but in like Universe 11, and these guys are actually like, like strong. So. Yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna we're gonna see the fight against uh, Goku and Topo. I believe his name is. Let me again. Let me know in the comments if I'm butchering his name because I'm not. I'm not claiming to have good pronunciation of names, and I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. But anyways, that's gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video now. If you guys enjoyed the video with all the stuttering that I've uh, had to go through in this entire video, I apologize for that. Uh, but no, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, uh, drop a like. And please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace out.